Hello guys, it's me, Racist. And a lot of people have been asking me to make a cover tutorial, and I simply didn't bother because I thought it would be kind of overkill since there are probably enough tutorials about Kyber out there already. But since our friend Rex made a pretty awesome mod manager for Kyber and uh, asked me to promote it, I thought I could combine that with a tutorial. So what's special about this mod manager is that it can automatically download and apply all the mods that the server you're trying to join is running. So you no longer have to spend ages finding and downloading the correct mods to be able to join the server. Okay, so first of all, you'll have to download the Kyber client from kyber.gg. Then you can go to this GitHub page, click on latest and download the Kyber mod manager. Now, once you have both of these downloaded, go to your downloads folder and run the Kyber mod manager executable. Run anyway, unless you don't trust the guy who made it, then you sh definitely shouldn't run it. Install this wherever the fuck you want. Now, this might take some time. Also, what the fuck am I doing here? I think you should be able to follow the setup without a tutorial. Now once the program has launched, you'll have to set your frosty path. This is basically where you have your frosty mod manager installed. Select it and continue. Now if you want the Kyber mod manager to be able to download mods from Nexus mods, you'll have to enter your Nexus mods account details. Now this is where the software seems to be bugged sometimes, at least in my case, I didn't really get it working. But I have faith in the developer fixing this soon, and also I think you can probably get it working by by making firewall and or antivirus exceptions for the program. I just didn't bother because uh, Windows 11 is being really cringe again for me today. So I'll straight up skip this step for now. Now to actually use Kyber, you'll have to launch the Kyber client, and you'll probably want to put this uh, Kyber client executable somewhere you remember. Execute anyway. Okay, so my friend Call to the Light just uh, hosted a server with mods, since there currently are currently no other available servers with mods. So as you can see here as well, the server has mods. And now to join with the Kyber mod manager, you go to the server browser tab in the Kyber mod manager, click on join server and enter the password if the server has a password, and then continue. Now if this searching for saved profiles takes longer, just try launching the program as administrator or disable saved profiles. So now the Kyber mod manager should automatically apply all the mods in the correct order and then launch Battlefront. Now if you run into issues with Kyber, you might also try making like Windows Defender or Antivirus exceptions for the Kyber client. Now as you can see I got loaded into the server and everything seems to be working fine. Now before I end the video I'll quickly show you how you can host the server with mods. Now I'll just do this without the Kyber mod manager but you can also host servers with the Kyber mod manager and also save mod profiles there, which is kinda convenient. So first you'll have to go on Nexus mods and find the mods you want to have. Now for a Kyber server I'd really recommend the Instant Online Improvements mod and its add-ons. Once you have downloaded the mods, start your Frosty and add the mods by pressing add mods. Select the mods you want to use and press apply mods. Also the hero unrestricted and full hero health on kill are nice to have applied since this way you can select any hero regardless of which side you're on and you can get your full HP back after winning a duel. Now once you have all your mods applied, make sure the Kyber client is running, then go to your browser, go on kyber.gg, go to the host tab, select map server name and password if you want the password, and ping site of course. Then you can click on play and then start Battlefront through Frosty. Now keep in mind, depending on what mods you use, it might take some time for the mods to apply. Once you're in game, you can access the admin menu by pressing insert. Here you can do stuff like add bots to get the game started. You should also be able to kick or ban players uh, via the moderation menu. I don't know why that isn't working for me right now. Now before the video ends, don't forget to wishlist my game Olympian Knights on Steam because it would probably help the game a lot in the Steam algorithm when it finally releases. And if you're interested and you haven't already, you can go check out my devlogs on the game, links will be in the description. And with that being said, I hope I could help some people out with this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!